Doug. You've got to get to that photo. This all ends here. How could one photo cause so much trouble? <laughs> Shit. Let's have a look see. Oh, oh man. man. Dude, this dress was hideous. She always had the worst fashion sense. She was beautiful. She still is beautiful. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. That was that was a little harsh. Alright. A little rough. You sure you're okay? Because yeah. you look like you've been crying. No. No. No? Is the ring in here? No. I still oh. got it. There it is. Yeah. I'm I'm not sure I'm ready to give this up yet. You could hawk it? Yeah. Like a couple bucks? I don't know. It's only been a couple of months. I mean, if it comes to it. You could save it for the next Marie. <laughs> Damn it. Now would have been a good time for a cell phone. Should have let Marie talk me into getting one. Ago, young Alex Sinak was kidnapped from a local park. Police have little evidence to go on, and parents remain skeptical that they will receive much help because they are illegal immigrants. The Sinaks would have been deported if not for being granted temporary protected status after an earthquake struck their island nation, St. Lucia, and allowed them to stay in the U.S. while restorations were made to the country. Now that the country has recovered, the Sinaks are afraid that they may be forced to leave without ever finding their son. Reporting live, I'm Brett Osborne. Okay, springtime fun. Someone would be in the paper. That is Craig. What's he doing with that kid? Craig, it's Doug. Yeah, I think I can recognize my brother's voice. How you doing? Are we still on for drinks? Yeah, um, I was I was actually wondering if you'd come over tonight. I, I gotta talk to you. Tonight? Yeah, hey, I gotta work tomorrow. I know. 
I, I have something I have to talk to you about. I, I can't do this over the phone. You're in trouble? Have you been thinking about Marie again? No. I've got stuff I have to deal with, but... Okay, man, I get you. Where do you want to go? Falconhead? No, that place is too loud. Can you come over here? God, I hope I'm doing the right thing. You can't live in the past, Doug. You can't think of yourself. You've got to think of that kid. Hey, you, Craig. No, it's the fucking cops. Come on, let me in. Did you pass out? Want me to freshen you up? Yeah. Thanks. There we go. Okay. What the hell is going on? Oh, I really, I'm, I don't know how to say this. It's not easy for me. Listen, man. You're my brother. I love you. You've been there for me, I've been there for you. I respect you. Anything you gotta say, I want you to just say it. Well, I... Also, I have to work tomorrow, so hurry the fuck up. So, I saw you. At the park today. Listen, this is my girlfriend's kid. Uh, I was at the park, and she tried to run away. I don't think she likes me. That's not your girlfriend's kid. That's, that's the snack kid. She's been on the news for the last two weeks. You're right. That I have fucked up more than I have ever fucked up, okay? I owe a shitload of money to some real assholes. So you kidnap a kid? started out, I was just running drugs. And that's all I was doing. And then, shit happened, and I got ridden real deep. And they said the only way I could clear my debt was that I just I just had to get her, and I had to just take her for a couple days. A couple of days? It's been two weeks. She cries all night, every night. I, I can't keep it up, man. Listen, my brother, okay? I came to you before I went to the cops because I love you. You need to do the right thing. You need to turn yourself in. You're right, okay? You're right, but uh, I have to do this by myself. You understand that, right? Like, if, if they if they find out that you know, like, I don't even know what they would do to you, man. Hey, we have a problem. What? Are you serious? You're busy? Listen, no, 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 this, this trumps everything. 
Do you want money to keep being fucking handed to you? Do you want to stay the fuck out of prison? Listen, if I go down, all of us fucking go down, man. Okay, good. Listen, we can't let anybody get in the way of our fucking operation. Somebody knows. Who's there? Craig? Mr. Stanforth, this is the police. Open up, please. Are you Doug Stanforth? Yes, sir. Mr. Stanforth, I was wondering if I could come in and talk to you about your brother Craig. I'm very sorry to have to tell you this, but your brother's been killed, and we believe oh that you were the last person to see him alive. Yeah, come in. Thank you. You got a wife, Mr. Stanforth? Girlfriend? Roommate? I feel... Uh, no, nobody. Good. Because that is going to make this go a whole lot easier. Oh, now I'm sorry to be so brief, but I'm in a bit of a rush tonight. You have a photograph that I need to get my hands on. Well, I suppose the good news first. Your brother's not dead at all. Of course, he would be if that photo surfaced. Bad news is, you were screwed even if you did go to the cops. See, your brother works in the local branch of our human trafficking business. Messy stuff, but good money. And a chunk of that money has been lining my pockets. Now, detectives, we only make so much. And I've grown accustomed to a certain lifestyle. So you can understand my problem with you taking a picture of Craig fucking up and almost letting a little kid escape. Where are the negatives? They're over there. All right. You got any copies on your computer? I like the old-fashioned way better. Yeah, uh, Craig said you were kind of old-fashioned that way. All right, empty your pockets, give me your cell phone. I don't have a cell phone. Jesus, you really are old school. You know, I, I feel like I'm doing you a favor. A favor? Yeah. Doing you the favor of ending your dull as fuck life. Yeah, Crane. You gotta be kidding me. Fine, I'm on my way. Well, Dougie, I hate to run, but you can't ignore calls from the boss. Don't worry, somebody's gonna be around shortly to clean you up. Hey, you know, I may just hang on to these. Your brother's been getting a little too mouthy for his own good. Never know when I might have to drop the hammer on him. <laughs> Take care of yourself, kid. We got here's a drug deal gone wrong. We'll uh, take some photos, dust for prints, and hope something comes up. Probably won't. Go. 
Drug deal? Yeah, drug deal. Look at you, you pile of cash over there, pile of drugs over there, dead body right there. Drug deal. Open and shut case. But if the shooter lived to get away, why leave the money and the drugs? Oh, okay. Criminals are idiots. Look, ask less questions. You'll be a lot happier. I'll never be in this fuck anyway. Quit digging around in the trash. More paperwork for me, huh?